Welcome back to All About Money on HKIBC. I am Chloe Fong. Joining me today is Mr. Andrew Yuan, the Associate Director Innovation of Sino Group. Sino Group is one of the leading property developers in Hong Kong with core business in developing residential, office, industrial and retail properties for sale and investment. We'll talk more about its cooperation with EcoBricks as well as the city's ESG development. Thank you for being on our show, Andrew. It's a pleasure. And first, let's talk about the cooperation between your uh, company and EcoBricks. So mm -hmm. why did your cooperation decide to fund EcoBricks? Um, if we look back <clears throat> at history, we we have a vision to, to uh, explore uh, innovation as a means to help us to achieve certain vision. And uh, so we have developed an ecosystem that we work with tech startup globally around the world. And it's through such platform that we come across EcoBricks and we like it so much that we decided to work very closely with EcoBricks and also fund it. Right. And also, former Environment Minister Mr. Wang Kam Singh also said that, quote, the collaboration between Sino Group and Itco Bricks is actually a good example of the real estate industry's commitment to the community, which is in line with Hong Kong's target to strive for carbon neutrality before 2050. So I'm thinking, will there be more real estate projects from Sino Group to be uh, in collaboration with other sustainable sustainability industries and EcoBricks as well in the future. Yes, I mean EcoBricks is one of the few uh, several uh, startups that we work closely with. For example, we work with other <clears throat> company in the field. There's one called Entertainer, and re we recently signed a partnership with Huawei to help us to achieve such an energy uh, efficiency goals through their technology. Um, we've also uh, uh, worked closely with the uh, uh, certain EV charging company to help us bring electrification to our car parks. And we have a city air purification system that we have developed. So EcoBig is one of the many tech startups that we work closely with. And we are continuing on a global search for solutions, tech, um, technology that can help us to achieve that goal and target. Got it. And also, how do you view the recycling market at the moment? I mean, you know, the plastic recycling is not a very easy job. It requires a lot of efforts, not only from, for example, the companies that are raising to provide solutions, but also from the public. For example, if the plastic waste are not very uh, carefully cleaned, then it cannot be recycled, while it can also contaminate other recyclables. So I'm thinking, would, there, would this kind of uh, difficulties to be one of the factors you know, hindering your company's further uh, future funds into this industry as well. What is your thought on this? Yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> the recycling problem is something that all economies in this world are facing. So I guess it's a global problem. So we're all in this together. So in Hong Kong, we're specifically looking to work with partners in the recycling industry, working with tech solutions like EcoBreaks, and to help to solve our own set of problem in dealing with recycling, uh, which is a global problem, which is a problem that we all have to face. It's a cost that the society as a whole has to bear. So we're doing our part and we believe in uh, innovation and technology, bringing some solution and also working closely with the recycling uh, players in the market. So we believe in, in coming with some sort of a solution that we can all work together for our society. Got it. So despite the challenges, your company still believe that it's worthwhile or it should be done in that way, right? Yes, it is a problem that we all have to do something for our society. And we, as a responsible uh, player in the market, uh, we believe in bringing innovation and solution uh, together with partners that we can all achieve something and do something because it's a cost that we all have to fall. Right. And also in terms of, you know, sustainability, ESG, these are very hot topics globally in recent years as well. So how would you view the ESG development in Hong Kong at present? 
I think ESG, uh, the issue with ESG and the global problem that we're facing, I think the whole world is facing it together. Every economy, every region has its own unique characteristics and issues. Um, and I think the whole world is at the beginning of a journey, the world trying to do something for our environment. And uh, for us as a responsible player in the market, we do focus on the ESG side of things. And we have our, uh, we, we have our, we have set a 2030 sustainability statement and we have our vision, vision statement. And we have set a goal to achieve 2050, by 2050, a net zero carbon emission. And, um, and we, we also have recently published our, our, our blueprints in this regard as well. So for this, I think we as a responsible player in the market, we believe we have to do our part, but we also see other players in the, in the market working very closely. As I said, it's a problem that we all have to face uh, and we have to do this together. So it's not just one corporation's problem. We do need to align. And I think we see industry all coming together, sharing innovation ideas, sharing solutions that we want to do something for the, for the benefit of the society. Right. But do you think like Hong Kong kind of is lagging behind other regions, for example, um, Singapore, Taiwan or Tokyo, these regions, do you think Hong Kong lags behind in terms of the ESG development? I think every economy, every region has its own unique set of problems. And I think the whole world is only at the beginning of the journey uh, to walk this path together. We've got a long way to go. Everyone has a long way to go. So our uh, through our journey of looking around the world for the best solution, best technology, we're willing to learn from others' experience. And that's why through our platform, we're looking for not just like EcoBrick, which is a local solution, but we're looking globally for available and beneficial solution so we can help to elevate the problem here in Hong Kong. I think everyone is in the same journey together and there's a lot we can learn from one another through the experience and through using technology that has been deployed successfully and in this case, EcoBrick is certainly seems a reasonable solution that we can solve certain problems in Hong Kong. And uh, but I also believe it can be it can solve problems in other regions as well. Right. And also talking about the city's reindustrialization, you know, some groups have been calling that you know Hong Kong should further do more in this sector. What is your view on this? Do you think? Um, the city that is well known for finances or some other service sectors should further boost mm. this sector's development, I mean, for manufacturing or reindustrialization. Yeah, I think certainly <clears throat> reindustrialization is a, it's a policy and a direction that the administration is setting. And we do believe this will do something good for Hong Kong. And there are certain industry sectors that fits a local context. And in the case of uh, Recycling, and in the case of Eco Bricks Arena, we do believe a local industry set up to address the problem of a local characteristic is the right way to be. And that's one reason we are uh, very strongly supporting staffs like Eco Bricks and Entertainer and other companies here in Hong Kong to develop solutions to solve our local problem. Right. And uh, speaking of EcoBricks market demand, can you tell us more of your thoughts of the, the, the market development um, at present as well? And what is your vision on the EcoBricks market demand in the future? Now, we, we believe uh, we like the EcoBricks solution because it is using circular economy, getting sourced from local, solving a problem of a local issue. And we believe the concept and the circular economy concept can also be repeated elsewhere. And for Sino Group, our coverage includes the GBA, Southeast Asia, Singapore, and also Australia. And we believe this solution is not only unique to Hong Kong, but the same solution can be used and deployed in other regions. And we have every reason to believe that EcoBrick will probably do well in other regions uh, economy too. Right. And also, Andrew, tell us more about the circular economy that you just mentioned. What, are they, what, what does it mean just for those who are not very familiar with, it, with this concept yet? Right. So it's like if we make a, a, 
a break from uh, from scratch in Hong Kong. We have to bring in the raw material from elsewhere and then dig up somewhere. But in terms of circular economy, we're taking the source, which is a waste issue we're trying to deal with in Hong Kong. We're turning that waste to the local manufacturing context into a problem, into a solution and a product that can solve, offer an alternative to a local uh, issue. And therefore, this circular economy brings about local economic activity, manufacturing, but also solve a huge waste problem that we're trying to eliminate. So we believe this is really a brilliant concept of, of the, that we address by bringing a local solution to solve a local problem. Right. And also, what do you see this circular economy sector or industry will develop further in the next three years in Hong Kong? We believe it has a, quite a way to go in Hong Kong that we can increasingly demonstrate to the society that, you know, if we put our thinking head on, if we put our innovation mindset on, we can find solutions to solve this local problem. It's not just eco break. There could be other technology that we can bring along. So I think, as I said early on, we are in this journey together to solve a problem that we face here in Hong Kong. And using innovation technology, we can really do something for the betterment of our society. Right. Thank you so much for sharing. Andrew, that's Andrew Yuan, the Associate Director, Innovation of Sino Group. We'll be back on HKIBC next week. I'm Chloe Fong. Until the next time.